City Showy. Bye, YouTube. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Yeah. We love you. Lighters. Bye. Have a wonderful time. Word, lighters. I didn't say lighters. I it said later. Like lighters. Wash your goddamn hands. <laughs> 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 This is oh, pretty this is lit. Back soon thing. Why do you always watch that stuff? I don't get it. Who is what? The post show? <laughs> no, I am watching the um. Initial D memes, bro. I haven't seen this particular video. Is the funny part. So, yeah, so I'm watching a. Uh, I'm watching the tractor race in front of a fire to like cut a line in front of it. So I'm told, uh, because people think that it's some crazy ass dude farming grain before the fire catches it. But if I'm not mistaken, isn't that actually designed in, in case there is a fire to like just make a row of dirt to stop it from burning? Oh my god, dude. Mitt, do you happen to know anything about that? Or if such a thing exists? Sorry, I'm writing. What's up now? Fire, line of dirt? That's all I call Right, um, I, I was, there's an initial D meme of a tractor pulling this blue thing that's like digging up the dirt and some people were called it a meme because it looked like he was harvesting grain like before the fire catches it even though he's feet from it but if i i think someone pointed out in the comments like uh like the actual purpose of that device is to make like a line of a big line of dirt in your field so that the fire stops burning any further yeah that's the cultivator because fire can't necessarily uh. burn the dirt there has to be something planted there for it to burn and spread yeah i've seen that before yeah, no, I was just confirming it was real. Yeah, I've seen videos of that. Uh, there's only one particular one I remember. It's from the guy uh, in the cab doing it. And uh, so he's going along, dragging that. There's fire off to one side. Then he sees someone flying in with a crop duster. And they're dropping just, like, sand or dirt or something. And he's like, oh, yeah, reinforcements. Because they're dropping a line of stuff that stops fire. Yeah, and they were just like that, whatever that... White flame retardant foam, foam is. You know that stuff I'm talking about, right? Like, I saw it on California air fire stuff. It, like, drops this, like, white foam substance or something. Yeah? Yeah, you get two. Kind of, but as it's not a, an agricultural staple, I have no information on this. <laughs> yeah. I do think that the line of dirt thing is actually incredibly clever. Yeah. Wheel of Steel, the game is pretty good so far. Um, I just know it's going to take quite a while to play through, or at least I think it is. Um, who knows, maybe the next time I stream I might be able to finish it off. Um, I'll just have to look up how much further the game is at that point and like watch a full playthrough to get an understanding. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's still adorable, Golden. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm, I still want to figure out how to get that picture to be transparent. Like, have a transparent background. I saw a tutorial um, Crown you know Prince post. I saw a tutorial that Crown Prince posted. I know they're tutorials if you look them up on YouTube. I, I try to. Um, and, uh, yeah. It, what the fuck are you guys typing? <laughs> they poop, yes. Starlight! <laughs> Hi, Starlight. Starlight. Starlight poops. Everybody poops. This just in. Birds Thanks. poop. <laughs> I mean... Bigger the bird, bigger the poop. <laughs> oh my god, you know, when hens... Okay, I know this happens to turkeys, not sure about chickens. Uh, when they've been nesting, sitting on eggs for a long time, and then they stop, sometimes yeah. they have these mega dumps. <laughs> oh my god our, our turkey nice. had a pair of turkey hens that they finally stopped nesting they're walking around I'm sitting out on their front porch which has like a glass patio table and one of them is standing there nice and calm just being fun to be around I'm like oh, okay cool the other one flies in out of nowhere and crash lands on the table I'm like oh my god what are you doing and then she mega dumps I'm like what the fuck are it's you doing there's a present for you <laughs> Was it like one of those like eye watering oh god kind what of the hell? kind of dumps? Okay, what am I reading in the good. chat? 
Hold on a second. Uh, somebody posted to J12K. Uh, guys, something just happened on the internet. Apparently, Evil Online 2020 is officially cancelled because the CEO did some sexual abuse to someone and they replaced him with someone else. That's fucking nuts. So, EVO, TVO. No idea. EVO, yeah. EVO, I think it's, an, it's, an, it's a convention, I think. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. EVO convention. Search. Yikes. It's a tournament, I believe. It's like a, it's oh, like it's a, a tournament, games. right? Is isn't it a fighting tournament, or I'm probably yeah, fighting EVO Championship Series. Yeah, the Evolution Championship Series represents the largest and longest running fighting game tournaments in the world. What like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter? Dude, e Evo 2006, I think it was. It was just the most insane finish where this guy literally had one health point left and the guy executes a counter on him and he manually blocks every single move in the counter, turns around and wins with like a decimal point of an HP point left. Which was hilarious. Have you guys seen that? That is, really is one of the most epic win moments of all of gaming. I bet that and I mean, guy was probably all of it. extremely angry after that one. But here's the thing, he did it fair. Yeah. He yeah. fairly blocked skill. every single move with raw skill. And succeeded with pure skill, even though, by all metrics, he should have been fucked. It's amazing. Ask Bliss, are you doing a... Numbers? And the numbers going to the thousands, like uh, something that had like 60,000, 70,000 hit points. I shit you not, I fired it with one guy, the real player. I hit him, and fucker had one hit point left. One. I don't like it. What? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I've been there. Did someone kick your butt? I don't remember what happened. Ah. Uh. <laughs> hmm. You go night night. Okay. Ichibiti. Golden, I believe the answer to this is that you have a circumference. Yeah. This is yeah. a conference. You contain a everyone? circumference. Yes, but he has. Okay. But this implies that you have a, a bigger circumference. Be safe. Mm -hmm. I do believe your gluteus maximus has a sufficiently larger circumference than the average person does. I believe your gluteus has yet to maximus. <laughs> but it's already so large, my brother. <laughs> We do not wish to be. We do not wish to be, therefore, comparable even poetically to Nicki Minaj. That would just be weird. The faint echo is coming from the fact that three people are in the same apartment, and it's inevitable. And as to answer the wheel of steel question, am I doing okay after you inadvertently led to my tickle attack? Um, yes, I'm fine, but you can go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> she jokes. Do I? <laughs> 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 fucking in, the, fucking in the one and a half seconds it took me to go through a mental process of do I say does she? And deciding not to, and then you just. <laughs> <laughs> and then I just did it for you. <laughs> in in the, words, the words of Hocus Pocus. <laughs> In the words of Pocus Pocus. Oh, I've been there, thank you. I find it quite lovely. <laughs> <laughs> it's really. I'm just gonna say this. Not that bad. You can totally leave when you want to, anyway. Oh, I love that movie, Bliss. That's a good Thinking movie. about making a second one. What the hell oh, is no. I watching? Oh no. I was watching something, and I can't remember what it was. It feels like Rick and Morty, but I doubt it was. It was a, a scene 
where a couple of characters went to hell and they found out, oh, there's an obstacle course you have to get through to get out of hell and back to life. And it has some kind of a thing where you get a pole and you jump up and it gets locked into this, this like stair stepping thing where you have to push the pole up and like stair step it up and everyone fails on that part. And then eventually, uh, like later on, the characters go back in time or something. They're they're back in not they're not in hell. They're back in the world of living. And someone's like, "Why do you keep doing this exercise?" And he's like, "Oh, no reason really." <laughs> <laughs> you're just you're just missing the earth pony, and then you would be. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> Come on, that was good. That was. That was. That was good. <laughs> okay, what we mean by two thirds of an alicorn is you're essentially just an alicorn, but you, but you still wanted to be unique and you didn't want the baggage, so you picked something even worse and claimed I'm a creative OC. It just means you don't have the balls to be an alicorn, even though you're functionally an alicorn. Mm. <laughs> be Ow. nice. Holy shit! Ow. Ow. Sorry, was that was that too much? I was being I was being playful. <laughs> you you were being the... spiteful. Playful. Playful. Oh, playful, which is the exact opposite of spiteful. Playful they sound the very line. similar. Yeah. Playful, spiteful. <laughs> they just end in full. That is the only similarity. Yeah, on Discord, it doesn't come through that clearly. Okay, okay, Kiku, by your definition, if he's a bird because he has wings, well, then I'm a fucking pigeon. Coo coo coo. That explains the size. No, I think it's. it's mm. I, I, I was playing in the idea that well, apparently some people called my OC like a Phoenix pony or something like that. What the hell? You I didn't do it. I'm gonna be honest, the color scheme convinced me that was the whole idea, along with the, you know, phoenix motif, the Okuzuma. Yeah, and my character is... I'm not gonna go into specific detail, because there's still yet to be a, a magic lesson about that. Mm. But Things will be happening eventually, maybe one day. Yeah. Blip. But I think, so but obviously, like, like, people can grasp a lot of things with my OC in that regard. Hmm. I have a picture. Where Where is it? <sighs> the, the funny thing is, when I made Bliss an Alicorn, I wasn't even fully aware that the, that Alicorns were frowned upon in our community until I started watching more reviews. You're <laughs> part of the problem. Yeah. yeah, and then I realized, oh shit, I, I might have made a terrible mistake, but I already put so much effort into this. Oh no. Okay, I'm it. just gonna I'm gonna die on this island, I guess. <laughs> Dude, I did the same thing with Myth, but then I realized, oh, like before I released her, I realized, oh, people don't like this, well, I better not do that. And then I saw your stuff, and I'm like, oh, no, it's okay, I can actually just be this thing if it's actually me. Okay. And it's like, okay, and instead, you know what, I, yeah, I mean, instead of, okay, I knew I was going to die on this island because I didn't want to fumble back on my decision after all the effort I put into it, but I decided to research, why do people hate alicorn OCs? So I did the research. Oh, that did not take long to find out. Um, poor writing, poor development. Look at me, look at me. I am cool because I'm an alicorn. I am an almighty, powerful god. Stop. You have a Can't do it. You have a tiny Not penis, today. don't you? <laughs> <laughs> you have a tiny no, wee wee. No, do you know? Do you know how many people have tried to come up to me? God damn it. They do some cringy RP shit about wanting to start a fight, and they all make it seem like I don't know. The ability to punch someone in the face really hard is a personality trait. Oh my god. No, it's so cringy. Yeah, like, and they just keep going on and on. Hey guys, um, everyone, about everyone. How epic they are. I have to say this out loud. I'm a big okay. dum dum. Thank you, Brett. Thank you for saying. Did you, did you lose a bet? Why are you a big dum dum, brother? I was making coffee earlier while I was on a short break, and I completely zoned out getting back to the game after fixing my own cup of Joe. Yeah, you didn't you drink your coffee, did you? Make me a cup, and I was. Oh. Like, you! Oh, you monster! That's a martial crime. That is a horrible crime. I'm sorry. Are they accosting you? Are they making you feel bad? 
Accosting? Accosting. Accosting. That means that means telling you how bad you are. You've been a bad man. You did a bad. Uh, both. You you did a bad thing. You are a bad man. Wow. That's criminal neglect. Well, you don't have to make me a coffee for like another hour because I'm gonna go lie down for a bit, okay? Plug okay. the dog tags again. <laughs> Wait, what about dog tags? Plug, Plug the dog, the dog tags. tags. Buy them. <laughs> yes. Buy the dog tags. I mean, limited time available, Buy right? For the rainbow ones. Yeah. What? What tags? What? Yeah, know. keep keeping right. tags. I'll come to your house. Oh. Should I bite your next? toes? <laughs> what? You hear that, folks? Have... <laughs> if you don't buy uh, Chris, uh, if you don't buy keyframes dog tags, she will come to your house and bite your toes. Let me tell you. That's but a very I need my toes. Also, Kinky. But... I, I need my toes. No, that, that is that is not a joke. Her teeth are powerful enough that she often uses it to open up cans. That. What the freaking hell? I was about to ask how Golden has such a grasp on how powerful Keyframe's teeth are, <laughs> but he clarified with the cans, so... Uh, so um... Okay. Um... No! Are you done playing no. games, or... Yeah, I'm in the stream tonight. Oh, okay. So yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. Hey, uh, protect me! They're threatening to eat me! I love how I'm the I'm the one who has to protect you from the Vorus now. Yeah, it's like you're one of your royal guards and a stand. I don't want to be substitute eaten. guard or right here. Wait, what do you mean you can't? What? Well, hold on Solar, a second. Solar, swear to God. Solar what? Solar Real why? Steel. Solar. What are you doing? Solar why? Solar, you're scaring me. Solar. What are you Solar, doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Solar. <laughs> Solar. What are you doing? <laughs> What are you doing? You're just lingering up on top of her head. Nobody's gonna eat you. Okay. Oh. Oh, I forgot he's a guard. <laughs> no, 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 not again. <laughs> oh no, is he tickling you again? It sounds like he's attacking, yes. He, he's tying me up again. Oh, not again. <laughs> See, not again. your fault because you trusted him not to. I, I, I did! Oh, I, I, oh, by the way, I can't get out of it. <laughs> yeah, nice no. try. He's not he gonna tie it that tight. No, that's the neck! Yeah. You made it fun no. last time. Yeah. No, no, she... it again. <laughs> oh, shit. I didn't know that. God damn it, Solar. Oh, no, don't double tie me, no! Damn it! Oh, that oh. makes the Wheels of Steel yeah, name makes sense. No. Yeah. yeah, that makes a lot of sense now. Poor guy. Hey, on, I'm, I'm so happy to see you saving me. Thanks. I need to wait for him to kind of be done. Okay. <laughs> oh. What is he doing? Shit. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm scared to know what he's doing right. now. <laughs> You know, I'm over here being no. happy. He's not in my house. No. Solar? Solar, why? No, you're not using your pants to tie me down. No. Why? No. <laughs> no. What? Pants stay on. No, he has two pairs. He's got another pair on. Don't put your other what? pair on. <laughs> what? Wear two what? pairs of pants. Oh, no! Why? Why? I can't see. What? Why? Why can't you see? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tying a pair of pants around your head or something? Protecting you from yourself. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. No, she's been tied up and then another blanket has been thrown on top of her. She's gonna overheat. Oh, we've got AC for days. Ow. It's actually just turned on, I think. Uh, it is not. It is not. Oh, okay. He's untying me. Yay! <laughs> he became a bundle for a second. Did she become a bliss Rito? You know, kind of. So, no, not really. I remember last year when I was streaming Aladdin. Uh, fucking like, this was at the time when uh, Solar was also visiting, and there's like, there, there's a lot of hilarious moments, but near the end of the game that I'm streaming. Um, 
<laughs> fucking Solo <laughs> comes in and tickle attacks Bliss. Oh. And I yeah. hear her go, no! I'm gonna scream! <laughs> I, I remember that. Oh, you're I, screaming, I, she says while screaming. I'm easily, I, yes, I am very ticklish, and everybody knows this. I'm very sensitive to touch, so I, I, I tend to plead and beg people in my apartment to not do so because my neighbors are going to call the police. <laughs> no, we're, I, mean, I was the first one to warn you about the police, but I'm still the one who tickles you anyway because yeah, you made it way too apparent that this is a sensitive thing, but you keep saying, like, I'm going to have to beg you to stop. Please don't do anything, and then I do it, and he's like, "No." <laughs> the way you said your that. Your defenses are too adorable. Yeah. It's in, it, it entices me to do it more, and your reaction is hilarious. <laughs> I don't help See, myself. See, Blitz, if you didn't react as much, it wouldn't happen as much. I can't help it. <laughs> That's I legit can't. Soul. I love the uh, freaking magical star flashes suggesting. <laughs> No. Skip. <laughs> oh my god. Magic star. Really? Skip. Tickle, tickle me bliss available with tickle me goldie. Skip. No. Unfortunately, I'm also very ticklish. Oh, well, that's good to know. That's good to know. You better be careful. Okay, Golden, I'm going to say this to you in advance. If you ever get to. If you tickle my daughter, she'll tickle you back. Oh, no. <laughs> tickle wars. It'll be the ultimate tickle war! <laughs> oh no, I would have a lot of fun tickling her and giving her little piggyback rides if I ever met her in person. I will look forward to it. That's why I'm hoping when I, I save up for when next year we finally get up to this whole pandemic bullshit. Yeah, the down. pandemic bullshit. Like, yeah, and then everybody and at that stop point, being idiots. And at that point, I should be like, I should already have like a good paying job and I'll have like more than one week off at that point and maybe yeah. i'll go to babscon as long as the pandemic is you know not coming back because I of the agree. little demon yeah because well, it, would, it would be here's, nice here's the question though after even this are there still going to be anti-vaxxers who refuse the, co the covid19 vaccine yes, it's, when because, it gets made? it's because my barber was one of them the other day Oh Are, you Are you serious? Are you serious? You guys, a couple of you know the field I'm in. Yeah. Listening to this woman talk was making me roll my eyes into the back of my skull. She I, said, I gotta oh, hear this. Yeah, no, it's like, I didn't want to fight with her because I didn't want to walk out of the place looking like Bozo the Clown. Mm -hmm. So, like, oh, this virus, it was made in a laboratory. This thing's not natural. They implanted it for mass warfare and put it into bats. And I'm just like, oh my god. Where the Woman, fuck did you find that information? I still know like, a better... Then at the same time, she was like, oh, I'm not going to put the back get the vaccine. That stuff's poison. It's going to hurt my body and make me stupid. I'm like, no, you're stupid already right now. Yeah. <laughs> natural selection wants you to make yourself die sooner. That's, yeah, there you go. I didn't want to say any of that because she's yeah, cutting my hair. <laughs> I mean, like, yeah. see, you, you want to there's, say there is a worse thing that could be it, said. There know. is a worse, there is a worse conspiracy theory that could be said. She could have been one of the five G people. Oh jeez, five of them, in fact. No, no, uh, the five G people are the people who believe that coronavirus is somehow the result of 5G cell phone towers, even though what this theory doesn't explain is that how 5G is only available in like three countries, and this is a worldwide pandemic. They have not given an explanation for this yet. I look forward to hearing whatever it is. Dude, no, my favorite fucking memes about the 5G people, my favorite one was like, our, our signals do not give out like, our signals do not give out radioactive signals or some shit like that, and it is like 6G towers when they come up and it's just an image of dead space. <laughs> We're gonna create- oh wait, so you mean the marker from dead space is just a yeah. 6G cell phone tower? That's basically what 6G is. <laughs> yeah, just, this woman was just literally grinding my gears the entire time talking, and it's just- you can't say anything because you don't want to have to end up shaving your entire head or something. Yeah. Oh, you think I'm an idiot, huh? Oops. 
You know what? I love the stories, the the, the crazy ass of title stories where the kids are the ones that inevitably get justice because they're they're the ones that like at age 15 or 16 they sneak out of their parents' house just to go to the fucking ready clinic to get their vaccines. Okay, I just oh, came yeah. back. I've seen stories like that. Uh, yeah. Okay. I... Only to be fine. Only to come home, their parents find out, and then the mother friends and the mother threatens to kick them out because they don't want to have an autistic kid in the family. I'm like, <sighs> no. Okay. Oh, no, you there's no proof Karen. that that happens. That is no proof. There's no, there is no proof. I know there's no happen. proof. No, I know there's no proof of that bullshit, and and it's ridiculous and. Also, I love how they would determine that autism is worse than living in a bubble for the rest of your life, because if you just yeah. step outside, you'll be murdered by just the common Jones. cold. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just the exposure to the air is now lethal to your children. I hope you I hope you never planned on them having children, because apparently you made that decision for them. They will not live they will not live to it, and by the time they do have sex, just contact with another person will make them too sick. Yep. Yeah. The, the and, but then I hear, but then I hear wonderful stories. Well, I mean, this is also a sad one too, but it's a wonderful one. At the same time, a mom and her daughter, um, her oh her poor baby, she, her, her baby girl, bless you, has a horrible rare disease. I shit you not, she is allergic to water. Oh, oh no! Oh, God, how do you live? It, I don't know. I legit don't know. And you the worst thing is water. When she sweats, touches it, a bath, horrible, terrible reaction to this poor kid. But what choice do they have? They have to clean her. Yeah. And the doctor says, no, she has to be cleaned somehow, but there's nothing they could do. And yeah, they, she is pro-vaccines. She is for vaccines. Because when she, when she gets exposed to water, she gets these horrible rashes skin her skin becomes red and bloody it's almost like acid and the yeah. way you said it was like a scottish person it's almost like acid oh um but but you know as a result that means her skin is now exposed to the air and it's exposed to infection and bacteria and all sorts of crap so yeah she needs the vaccines water water's in the air so she get burned from just walking outside yep jesus Mm -hmm. That's it's a super fucking rare disease. I'm gonna have to look it up to see what it's called because uh, allergy to water. Yeah, I mean, allergic there's to also water. there's also being allerg allergic to dust. Not as bad, but it still sucks. I have a friend who's allergic to some allergy medicines. So, okay, here it is. The only the only thing I knew I was allergic to recently in the crisis scene it was uh, I'm allergic to an antipsychotic called Cyprexa. What does okay. it make you do? Um, my throat yeah. burns and I get blotchy all over the place on my face. Mm. Um, and apparently they said, no, you need to tell them that because if that dose was any higher, your throat might have closed up. Ooh. And also, it's an antipsychotic, so it sucks to be on it anyway. Hello, little, little brain flickies. I feel you flipping switches in my brain, and my body twitches in random ways. This I, doesn't feel comfortable at all. I want to uh, change the, like, revert the subject back to uh, something else, because I found out earlier this morning, I posted this in the Internet Fails channel, and there's, in, there's, a, there's a series of students in the University of Alabama, and they're trying to go for a prize to see who gets COVID-19 first. No, that's why if, if social Darwinism was playing out for everyone, it's not the anti-vaxxers, it's not anyone you don't like, it's just college kids. It's going to kill college kids and all people, because they were the ones who were like, oh, hey, there might be a pandemic, but I want spring break. Oh, yeah, want to get okay. COVID real quick? Kids think they're indestructible. Okay, so I'm going to have a hard time pronouncing this. Aquagenic Ultracaria? That's is a rare condition in which um, urticaria or hives develop rapidly after the skin comes in contact with water regardless of its temperature it it's mostly commonly affects women and symptoms are often start around the outset of puberty you can drink water but 
they may have an allergic reaction to bathing or showering, sweating, crying, rainfall, hives, and welts can develop on the part of the skin that comes in contact with water. That means the Oh, so it's only when the skin touches it, not when they drink it. Apparently when they drink it, they're fine. They can't really... Their okay, skin so they, can't touch it. Okay, so they're going to have to use a straw then. There is no cure. Uh, however, however, there are treatment options available to alleviate the symptoms. Um, and a histamines. There we go. Are medications used to treat allergy-like symptoms? Cute. Shut up. <laughs> Your doctor <laughs> may recommend. And a hista. Your doctor may recommend you take a prescription of antihistamines to calm your hives after coming in contact with water. You're adorable. Shut any up. histamines? And, and, any histamines? <laughs> and any okay. histamines come off? It, it's like Bliss is like that cute little kid who gets to help out the doctor. It's like, there's an antihistamine for you. Just, can you just imagine an, ador an adorably... Just an adorable little young Pegasus Flissy, just with a little cup of medication, just be like, this is your antihistamine. You're talking to the little girl, you're, not the little, okay, you're talking to the, <laughs> <laughs> shut the fuck up. You are, you are talking to the person who back in the day when she was a kid, I didn't say A1, I said Aka1, and I didn't say Aww. spaghetti, I said spaghetti. Oh, that's adorable. Aww. That's adorable. I, I I had to take two, three years of speech therapy because I had a hip processing disorder. And uh, my first three years of life I missed on the English department because I was 80% deaf. So, yeah. Whoa. I can talk fluently now. I have a processing disorder, yes. I may fumble on my words and I do fumble on my reading and pronunciation. Blah, 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 blah. You could call it cute or adorable for me. It's fucking annoying. <laughs> so you were eighty percent no. deaf, and you became not that deaf. It's because my ear tubes. You know how your ear channels. Yeah. First off, first off, I have really small ones, like legit. You could probably like Solar. If Solar wanted to test this, he could probably no. take his cell phone light. <laughs> light down my ear and literally see my eardrum because my ear channels are just that small so there's that okay. um but yeah basically when i was born they were closed off huh okay my yeah my parents didn't notice this until my grandmother observed me while i was playing in the house one day and i was just playing alone by myself i was playing like hand puppets and with my toys and my Nana, bluntly as possible, kind of just looked at my mom and dad and said, You know, she plays like a deaf child. <laughs> <laughs> so my mom and dad kind of just went, What the fuck? It's just something you noticed. No, no, no. She just noticed it. She said I was showing the common signs. Yeah. It, it's not an insult, it's something you notice. She was just noticing the signs. So yeah, my parents got me tested, and sure enough, um, I only responded to really loud, high-pitched sounds. Makes sense. That's really all I could he get through. So they said, "Oh yeah, her tubes are she they're they're closed off. We're gonna have, we're gonna have to operate." Oh wait, no, her ear channels are closed off. We're gonna have to operate and put tubes in her ears. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> you know, it's funny. This, this we say it's cute, even though it's annoying to you. But honestly, that reminds me of a kitten. Cause aren't like kittens and puppies born with their ears closed? You wonder why I kept Blissy's large ears when I first created her. That's why. <laughs> yeah, I was think, thinking about that. <laughs> oh, the Samba texted me. I had a glorious golden tan when I was born, and it's gone. Oh, I don't tan. I burn. Yeah, no. Yeah, same. I just burned and I got pale. <laughs> I that the hard way when I was younger and I fell asleep in the sun at the beach. Oh no! <laughs> you whole. You oh, went yeah. to sleep white and you woke up red, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're what? Oh. 
And blisters formed underneath my eyes, and I watched them form and burst Ow. in my oh. Oh. oh, Jesus oh. Christ! Ah. Oh, God! Ah. You're not all ah. 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 ready for something like that. That's what happens when you fall asleep in the sun and you're as white as a sheet. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to say I've as fallen white asleep as in the sun sheet? before, but yeah, not that. Remember I told you guys about how I passed out from haste stroke? Because mm -hmm. I got extra crispy. Extra crispy <laughs> blissy. I remember that my little sister, I wasn't the only one that suffered uh, being extra crispy. She got so extra crispy that her right shoulder had just one large bubble surrounded by uh, several mini little bubbles of blisters on her shoulder. This one blister... Plus you got crispy and got covered in blissy bubbles? Well, my little sister got, was covered in blissy bubbles anyway. <laughs> yeah, her, her, there was just this one bubble in particular on her shoulder that was almost the size, was about the size of, half the size of a golf ball. Oh, I can top this. Oh my god! Oh, you can top Not it? with sunburn, not with sunburn, but with something oh, else. Oh, do it. Okay, when I was nine, uh, I had to get my tonsils removed, which is kind of why my voice is the way it is, I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I um, so, we noticed something was wrong because I'm nine years old, and there's a swelling in my neck about the size of a softball sticking out. Uh, that's a problem. Yeah. So, they bring me into the hospital, I tend to stay after, and then uh, they said, oh yeah, you're staying the night for a little bit, don't worry, everything's going to be cool, we're just going to do some surgery. So, the, when they removed my tonsils, they were apparently surprised I could breathe this whole time. Because again, I'm a, I'm a nine-year-old kid, and my tonsils were the size of an adult fist. And they wondered how I could breathe this whole time. Yeah, no, I told my mom that story, and she was like, softball-sized? And I'm like, yeah. How the was... fuck was he breathing, Emily? <laughs> <laughs> I'm immortal, damn it. Yes. How are you still alive? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm having such a, I am just getting the chills just from react, just by envisioning that in my head. Ugh. I see those guys go war. They're not fun. Owie. Okay, Wheels of Steel, the, the sentiment is appreciated, but I must remind you that I'm a 34-year-old woman. <laughs> don't, please don't forget that. What's going on? Can we not just um, give you a cookie, though? Cookies are nice. Yeah, I like the cookie. The cookie's nice. Just a cookie. And, we'll and, just and also, cookie. and also, I have two royal guards. One of them is trained to kill. <laughs> um, Literally, he's a marine. Right. Like I, I was saying like what the guy was saying because I'm on mobile, so I can't trick the twist. Oh, I'm sorry. He he's saying, it is it bliss. Is it bad that I genuinely want to hug you and give you a big cookie? You seem really sweet and pure at times. Don't hate me for saying that. Oh. This, like I said, the sentiment is appreciated, but remind you, I'm a 34-year-old woman, I have two guards, and one of them is trained to kill. <laughs> but if I wanted to give you a big hug, I feel like neither of them I'm would stop me. I'm assisting her in vibing. <laughs> well, wait, what was that myth? I'm sorry. I said, but if I suddenly wanted to give you a big bear hug, I get the feeling neither of them would stop me. No. Juggle might criticize me, but I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. Solar wouldn't stop you. He'd probably he help. help you. <laughs> and you get a, you get a open time. She said, but God tells me if Myth came in to huggle me that the guards probably wouldn't stop in her. I said, no, Solar would probably assist you. <laughs> yeah, you've made a picture of that. No, 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 no! Oh, God! Uh, disgusting. <laughs> So it's mean. I don't get to help. <laughs> I know you Myth, can kill me for this position. Myth, uh, Myth has just said, Solar, that's mean. I don't get to help. Yeah. Unquote. Wait, what's this? Papaka Chipaka? What? Hmm? what? Boost. Oops. Don't know them. Don't accept them. Never ex don't accept strangers. Stranger danger. Yeah. What's that? Oh, I see. 
Oh, that's someone uh, they were asking earlier because uh, they were hearing the call and they were like, "Man, th this like funny stuff is making me want to join your server. Can I join your server?" I don't think they understand that just joining th this isn't a normal server call. This is just it, it's a, a small group one. of people are allowed in this. this. Is, yeah, this is a private call. Also, they're not watching anymore. They went to bed a couple hours ago. <laughs> if I if I see that username again, I'll let them know this is a private call. Private to call you. It is a private call, comrade. That was probably a bad Russian, but I tried. Moscow, Moscow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the tickle me. I want to point out I have nothing to do with this one. <laughs> Don't tickle me. No. Don't tickle you, you little brat. No. Lars is sleeping. So I did it earlier, so it's Lars okay. Lars was sleeping. Now he is. No, he was just doing it now. No, he wasn't. <laughs> Where? I thought he was. No, he was hugging me. That's it. Oh, you were giggling, well. Yeah, I was giggling because he was giving me a very. <laughs> it was a mushy hug. Oh no, I took that as tickling. Oh no, no. If he I couldn't tell the di okay. I couldn't tell the difference because you were still laughing the same. I was giggling, but I could restrain myself from being loud. Can I help you, Mr. Solar Flare? <laughs> I'm vibing well without you. Let's see. All right. <laughs> I'm being huckled, and it's nice. Wish I could relate. No, hey, I'm talking me. Oh, okay. I just want to hug Solar. Yeah, solar, go hug Myth. <laughs> go. Be gone. <laughs> That's your Alicor. Go, go hug, hug that, that one. one. <laughs> Start walking. I'll be here when you get here. Start walking. <laughs> <laughs> I made soup today. <laughs> I'm just reading the chat and like Kiki was like, "Hugs myth mine." Oh, oh Kiki stealing, stealing myth. myth. Mm. Oh, I missed that. Ah, okay. mm. That's a mm, predicament. Oh, you, uh, you better, better stop, stop it. it. Oh, well, she, she gotta steal your girl. girl. I mean, <laughs> that's a possibility, <laughs> but also I feel like that would be very entertaining to watch. Strictly yeah. for me. I also feel like neither Kikyo or I are not everybody from watching. Else. Yeah. Can't come in, right? That's the water one. Yeah. Where's the attack? <laughs> 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 and it looks like she got tickled the tap. They didn't stop you earlier. <laughs> I wasn't that loud. Was I? <laughs> you guys suck. We're right though. I'm gonna go to bed. Y'all, don't you dare. Damn it. All right, that's it, guys. I'm gonna go to bed because these two motherfuckers are gonna tickle me, and I'm gonna wake up my husband. So I will see you all later. You can blame Aeon and Solar for this. Good night. Aeon, good night. I love how I don't mess with you. I only mess with you like once. Solar. Well, I'm gonna call it too. Good night, Solar. Yeah, I think it's time I end the stream. So, anybody who's still left over, thank you for sticking around. Uh, Solar, I can still hear a conversation. He's probably away from his phone. Yeah. No, guys. Anyways, uh, yeah. So, catch you all later.
Hope you had fun with the stream. Hopefully I'll be able to continue more and finish off a uh, time spinner. So, wash your fucking hands. <laughs>